Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to make uh, install MUG on the system uh, on your Windows system. The MUG is a green frontend for QEMU, which makes it easier to install other app uh, to, ins to make QEMU virtual machines and also run them. Because QEMU is just a command line tool, and I want to, uh, and the other GUI front ends, yeah, didn't have the function to uh, emulate PowerPC or MIPS machines. Uh, that's what I wanted to include here. Basically, MUGUI would have the capabilities to make it easier to emulate i386, x64, PowerPC and MIP64EL machines. It's basically only a GUI for QEMU and as if because of copyright the QEMU binaries are not included in MUGUI meaning you have to download them first. The links will be in the description. First open the your internet browser of choice, in my case Microsoft Edge. And, and open https qemu.ynets.de slash w64. Don't worry, this is an English speaking website. The DE domain is probably because the servers are being maintained in Germany. If you get this message, then you're like me, then you're not, uh, you're apparently not using an English speaking system. In my case, it's German. Just click on don't translate. I assume that you don't need that. Click on QEMU W64 setup dot exe. Of course, this might change the f because uh, it is updated all the time. And also, I recommend you to verify it. In this case, right click on the website, then press save as, or in this case, an explorer window should soon pop up. And click on save. This is our SHA-512 file, so we need to download MLPME, of course. This is open source and licensed under the GPL. It also uses PyQt or PySide. It is written in Python, and I will make a tutorial on how to build an agree in the future. Even now, you could just read the readme, but I will make a video. This video, by the way, will unfortunately won't cover creating virtual machines, but this uh, uh, because this is a future video. Click on the latest version and download both the zip file and the SHA-256 file. You download that then? Good, then close the browser and head over to the, to the file explorer. 
You can close out of it. Then go to downloads. I click and open in the Windows terminal on Windows 10. Note if you are on an old on an older version of Windows, you need to press shift right click and right click. and click on open PowerShell window here. Of course I can't show this now because I'm running Windows 11 here. But still. Shift, right click, open PowerShell window here. If you are on Windows 8.1 or 10, Right click without pressing shift, open in Windows Terminal. You can, by the way, you can also install the Windows Terminal on Windows 10, but I won't cover it here. What we, but what we will cover is we now type to verify the Q, both files are. Uh, save to run. We will type sotutil hash file dash hash file qemu w64 for and set up the, or, uh, the date where the binaries were built dot exe char 512 the commands will also be in the description please replace, but please replace the your file here with the actual file name then copy then copy the char 512 hash and open the QEMU W64 setup and so on file. Click on edit, search, paste the hash file and click on search. Continue searching. Uh, Also, you can, to save time, you can do the same with Emigree, but with the 256, SHA-256. Yes, I made SHA-256. Then copy the hash file again. I click on the chart, uh, dot chart 256 file of MLB and click on open with and then choose the editor. Click on edit, search, paste the chart 256 file and click on search further. Uh, on continue searching and we have the chart 256 file of course this might differ from the translation microsoft made because i'm just translating on air i was just too lazy to install an english language pack here so now we're going to close all of it and run the QEMU setup as administrator. 
if the, if the user account control asks you if this might, uh, may have admin rights, click yes. I will install it in English. Install in language. Click on OK. Then click next. I agree. Next. Install. C program files QEMU will be the default. If you changed it, please remember where you start QEMU because this will be important. Now just wait until QEMU has been installed. Just a small tip. If you want, uh, don't want to miss videos like this, you can, of course, like this video if you want to, and subscribe to this channel to not miss any of these video, any of my videos. And also, these are included. Please note that this was only a virtual machine. I just wanted to say my uh, I just wanted my privacy here. Yeah. That's why I do this on a virtual machine and a machine, but I don't recommend you to do so. Then right click on the zip file, uh, emigre zip file. Click on extract all and then on extract. So now that we installed, now that we extracted it, I recommend you to copy the folder onto the desktop. So now, You can ignore almost everything and just run the main executable. If Windows Defender gives out a warning, just click on more information and then on run anyway. Uh, that's That's with uh, that's a problem of uh, that's a problem of all my programs. And then, if you click on No Virtual Machine, then you will get an error. That's what I will show you. Then click on Settings. Then click Browse. This will redirect you to where the MG is saved. Click on Navigate to the executable. So we must select the QEMU MG executable. The default path is C program files QEMU QEMU I am G in this case and we have to do it with every single executable listed. A tutorial on how to install a virtual machine will follow. Now, I hope that you liked this video. If you want, you, you know what to do. So, that was it. How to install Emigre on, on your system.
we will obviously see you in the next video goodbye